Okay. This thing is down. I got the deal. Mute that over there. Okay. I think we're live. Very nice. I'm getting smoother at this, you guys. And I also have the chat plugged into a computer so that I won't lose chat this time. So we're just winning, winning all around. And let's see. How's everyone doing? We've got like 22 people watching, which is really good considering I kept you guys waiting. Um, I was eating pizza, so sorry about that. Wait, muting? Or can you guys hear me? You guys should be able to hear me, I think. Hmm. Can you guys hear me okay? Let's see. Doing good? Yeah, okay, that means TD can hear me. Very nice. Just a sec. Okay. Glad to hear everyone's doing all right out there. That's really good news. Oh, uh, I wonder if this is, I wonder if this is like plugged in right style. Cause usually I hear you guys a little, I usually I can hear myself speaking, but I can't really hear that right now. Um, you guys can hear me and that's kind of all that matters. Mm, let me see if I can't fix this for me though. Being a selfish creature. Ugh. McAfee is keeping. McAfee came with this computer and keeps asking me if I want to upload its <clears throat> garbo spam. Um. I think that uh, I think they might be SOL. TD says all businesses, all human businesses, monkey business. True. Okay. Well, we'll just start then, because I can hear well enough, I think. Maybe if I, like, fiddle with the dealie? Nah, we'll be okay. Okay, we need to load lineage. Come back, baby, after the disaster that was last time. Hmm. But we're better, we're stronger. We are a superior species we technically did evolve even though we didn't actually change species which i've been told is how this works let's see josiah says brb after thunder splits vid finishes okay cool i'm sorry no time for part one yet yes you can watch part two eric don't worry about it it's all good we're just playing monkey so the only thing uh about this is that it looks like our new place like, the new shelter that it gave us sucks. Like, I feel like this is really open to freaking golden Smilodon attacks. And I'm really not about that. I'm really not about the entire group getting obliterated by a Smilodon. So I think maybe the best course of action is to go ahead and prepare some killer uh, spears. Because, you know, in this game, if you ain't got a spear, like, what's even the point, you know? Okay. Um, let's see. Gotta do the old altering. Anyways, as a, as a human, I'm really good at evolution. But I don't like that I can kind of hear spooky Smilodon sounds in the background, like they're gonna be creeping up on us. I've also gotten really good at this rhythm stuff. You know, I mean, not that that was unexpected being the, uh, what is it? Epic Gamer? If you played a uh, drinking game with this stream, uh, you would take a drink for every time I said Epic Gamer, uh, and every time I did something wrong in the game, and you'd be drunk in 10 minutes. Be a great experience. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is a good deal to have. <clears throat> Except I'm, oh, I'm an elder, right? I'm still awe. Okay, I need to switch. I need to switch monkey. We need to take the form of someone better. Okay, foe? Foe is okay. Can we do better than foe? Let's see. Hmm. Why is there a baby all the way out here by itself? Get over here, youngster. These dudes are over here having, like, a little powwow. Who are you? Gore? I like Gore. That's a fun name. 
Okay, Gore is winning. Ku, coupled with Ki. I do like Ku. Ku seems like another winner. Okay, let's see. Much clearer now. Let's see. I never say I've gotten really good about anything while you're streaming, because that's when you're going to screw it up. Thanks, Dapper, but gamers like myself don't need to worry about that. Because when I say it, I mean it. Um, did we scan this one already? Foe, yeah. Uh, we didn't scan this guy. Okay, everyone got upset. Okay, key. I do like key. Key is coupled with clue. That they, they do seem like a power couple. But I think I like Gar the best. We'll go, we'll go be Gar. Hello, Gar. I mean, Gore. <laughs> okay, we'll switch. We're going boy mode this time. Okay, take item. And we'll pick up another baby, because we don't need to be trying to steal that baby. I mean, technically we could, I guess. I don't think she'd get over that, though. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, eating the snail. That feels like a bad move, considering how poorly uh, allying with the snail went last time. But, see, I'm trying a reverse psychology thing. I'm trying to go with embrace the snail to kind of steal its power. Brad, hey there, any update on that Bigfoot debate? Thank you so much for the $20, Brad. That is so kind of you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so the Bigfoot debate is definitely happening uh, with Jeffrey Meldrum. Um, it's kind of on me on when it is happening. Uh, I, with, I had a bunch of like thesis stuff come up with like finishing my first draft and all that last week. But as soon as I finish Meldrum's book, which is titled <laughs> Sasquatch, uh, Legend meets science, that's it. Yeah, as soon as I finish that, <clears throat> I'll be debating Jeff. And I'm really excited about it because, honestly, I really like Jeffrey Meldrum. I think he's awesome. Uh, the only thing I have to say about Jeff is that he does believe in Bigfoot. And while I, like, I want to believe, I want to be a Bigfoot believer, I am going into the debate of Bigfoot agnostic. Let's see. All <laughs> DBZ is made up. You are so busy, busy. Yeah, we're gay. Always busy. Brain bug. Whoa, Bigfoot debate? Yeah. Hopefully with Jeff Meldrum here soon. Um, but again, it's on me on account of, on account of I have to finish this book. Because the thing is, is like, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to go into a debate with Jeffrey Meldrum, the authority on Bigfoot. And I realize that that sounds kind of like I'm joking. I'm not. He really is the authority on Bigfoot. Like, there isn't a person out there alive who probably has more credentials to be talking about Bigfoot and simultaneously believes in Bigfoot. And the reason is because Dr. Jeffrey Meldrum, I believe he's at Iowa State. By the way, we're going on an expedition, in case you guys were wondering. We're going there, to that mark. Memorize, initiate. Um, Jeffrey Meldrum actually has... A de I hear someone choking. I think it's a... Yeah. What's wrong with this guy? Okay, he looks hurt, and that means Copac fiber. Let's see. Gotta use our little intelligence to spot one out. Um. Anyways, as I was saying, Jeffrey Meldrum has his PhD, I believe, in biological anthropology, but the big point that makes Jeffrey Meldrum especially especially qualified to talk about Bigfoot, is the fact that Jeff Meldrum specializes in hominin locomotion. That, like, he, that's his whole, what he studies. So if anybody, <laughs> if anybody's got the know-how to be talking about Bigfoot, it's gonna be Jeff Meldrum. Okay, please. He didn't like it. Well, that's a bummer, but I'm not going and getting more stuff. Okay, we'll apply this now ahead of time in case we run into any big ol' smilodons, which we almost certainly will because they're everywhere. And this will give us a nice little, a nice little wound debuff. Ten dollars for Brad, FKA Vandy. 
What does FKA stand for? Someone tell me. So dumb. <laughs> Atheist Jr. If you had a fursona, what kind of ape monkey would it be? Yeah, so Atheist Jr., you missed my... Atheist Jr. is an excellent Kent Hoven rapper, by the way. He does a great impression of Kent. But, um, yeah, if, if I was going to have a fursona, I don't think... My hot take last time was that you can't actually be a furry and have a fursona that is any kind of primate. Okay, I hear... I freaking knew it. Get him. Bad luck. You did it right but failed. Tough breaks happen. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I love this game. Very fun. Very fun. Very fair. Okay, someone tell me... Someone tell me what FKA stands for. So that I can answer Brad, who also generously donated $10 again. Thank you very much. Anyways, uh... Yeah, Atheist Jr., you can't have... You can't be a furry and have an ape or a monkey fursona, because that's... You already are both an ape and a monkey. Like, you're already those things. You can't cosplay as what you already are. Cool. Really cool. Love that. Love those warthogs coming out of nowhere to bust my chops. Okay, let's discover this. Shall we? Please be something good. Please just don't be a location. New landmark discovery. The True Rivers Junction. Gives us absolutely nothing new. Awesome. You'll love to see it, folks. Let's see. Formerly known as... Oh, Brad, Brad, why are you going as Brad now? Why not Dandy anymore? Erica would totally be a salt acid. Okay, curse to say, but wouldn't that be a warm blood soda instead of her soda? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, Alexander, you almost need to be banned for that. That's like the most cursed thing I've ever heard in my life. A warm blood, <clears throat> a warm blood sona. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, so, so okay, you could have, you could technically have a furry. That is, you could have a fursona that isn't an ape or a monkey, right? And that that could be your fursona as something who is an ape or a monkey. I think that's fine. Which makes me wonder, like, if you're a chimp, what's your persona going to be? You know? Interesting questions. Okay, yeah, you see this chump over here? You guys see that? Okay, so there's a thing I learned about crocodiles where this was on the famed Ja expedition. If you try to intimidate them, they get angry and charge you. So we won't be doing that anytime soon. Dargamel Gold. If you're cosplaying as a non-human primate, by definition, you're not cosplaying as what you are. No other extant monkey or ape, ape is human. Yeah, I think that's fair, but I don't know that I don't know that it's not furry though. Like I don't know that you could say that you aren't already. Hold on just a sec, guys. I don't know why I'm still getting dopamine loss here. Okay, now we're in a scary zone. Okay, so we need to identify as much stuff as possible. Um, anyways, what I was saying is, yes, uh, agreed. I guess as long as you kind of... What the heck is that? Oh, a beehive. Okay, I see. Um, as long as you specified that, like, yes, I am cosplaying as another different mammal than the one that I already am, then yeah, I think it's fine. It, then anyone can, any species can have a furry, which is a frightening notion. But see, so he, here lies the question, though. So I know it is a known fact uh, that if you, if you have a fursona that is like, if your fursona is like a, like a reptile, it's like a scaly, right? So like, what, what's the level, you know? Is it like order level or is it like, is it like class level? Okay, you, you literally can't even identify dead branches in the scary mode, the fear mode. Okay, we're ready to reach the conquer zone. The conquer zone is this way. All right, let's go to the conquer zone. And hopefully not run into anything horrible on the way. 
Do I not get... Where's the... I'm getting a... I'm getting a little fed up with us here, Gore. Where's the conquer zone? Okay, what do we got here? Got tired of people asking if I was a Vanderbilt football fan. Okay, fair enough, Brad. Fair enough. And thank you for your donation again. You gotta stop donating to me. I'm gonna get rich off of you. Filthy, stinking rich. Finally, buy that gorilla skull cast I've always wanted. That thing is pricey. Gargamel Gold, if you're cosplaying as a furry extraterrestrial, then are you a furry? Asking the real questions. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, totally not a furry. Obvi. But I would imagine that that would be like, like, is there an alien Sona? Would you just call it kidding? I don't know. Okay, we can finally go to the ground conquer zone. Okay, time to rationalize fear. Okay, wait, I see, I totally see what's going on here. I'm going the wrong direction. I don't know though, there are a lot of like, okay, if, if you can have a Sona, like if you can have a Sona that isn't, wait, go back, go back, go back. Wait, can I just hang here? Yes, I can. We'll just conquer the fear while hanging. Good job, Gore. Yeah, like, obviously it would be a gibbon, like, if I could choose anything. But if it had to be non-monkey or ape? And I'm assuming lemurs probably fall into that, too. I think... I don't know, I'm trying to think what my favorite animal is versus, like, what I would be. Because those are different things, you know? Like, you can have a persona that's, like, it's what you want to be, which is why everybody picks, like, neon wolves and shit like that. But then you can also have the one that you probably are. <laughs> um, and, like, those those things aren't always, like, the same deal, you know? Because, like, I, I really... I don't know. What would I want my persona to be? Brad, I support the channels that deserve it. That's very cool of you, Brad. We also had one from Broccoli Man. Monkey, monkey time is all time. Yeah, true. Okay, we're getting sleepy, of course. Right now we're on a mission to crack the coconut open. And I guess we should start identifying other stuff too. This is what we're going for. Hmm. This one's closer. We'll go to this one. I think that's the winner right over there. Damn. I don't think I've ever been asked a question that hard before. What would my fursona be? Not counting monkeys and apes. Not all the time, all the time, I guess. Yeah, it is, I would classify it as a hobby monkeying around. I'm a little nervous at this bass playing in the background. Okay, get back to me on the furry question. We're getting this the fuck out of here. I gotta think on it. I gotta mull it over. Okay. This is gonna be another location. I'm almost sure of it. Which is unhelpful. What do we got? Tell him, show me the money. It's gonna be like the waterfall. Oh, an oasis. The Cascade Oasis. Hmm. I actually know that according, I looked into the game a little, I wanna become a more epic player, but oasis are where you always wanna settle. You know, like those are the way, those are like the good spots. And I'm kind of feeling like our current base is Garbo. So I'm thinking maybe we're gonna move the clan to the Oasis, because I'm pretty sure that's our next... No, it's Befriend and Outsider, of course it is. Okay, we're gonna go get the clan and bring them here, because I think the only place that any Smilodons could get... I did browse the Ancestors subreddit, by the way, in the week in between now and the previous gamer session. 
and I found out that uh, there are some bases, and I don't know which bases they are. I didn't want that spoiled. But I did find out that some bases are more likely than others to be, I think the word was constantly harassed by Smilodon. And I'm just, I'm not, I don't think I have the stomach for my entire lineage to get ganked again. Because of something the game did and not my obviously epic skills. Okay, so let's go get the guys. Okay, they're directly in that direction. So we're gonna go on a expedition. And maybe on the way, we can make a new spear. Because that would be really nice. Okay. Oh cool, a waterfall. Now you got a base place to chill. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Atheist Junior says, I went as a gorilla for Halloween in a full body suit and head mask. <laughs> that's an amazing costume. Maddie of Science Side Up and I were doing an interview prior to this, and uh, she asked me if as a kid I was, like, really into Jane Goodall. Like, went as Jane Goodall for Halloween and stuff like that. And regrettably, no. I went as a whole host of very cringy things for Halloween. Pretty much every opportunity. I also trick-or-treated until very late. Like, too late for it to be an okay time, you know? And then the year after that, I thought it was cool and decided that instead of helping my parents pass out candy to trick-or-treaters because our house never got trick-or-treaters anyways i would be more keen uh, i just called but i couldn't hear him uh i would be more keen on like doing what is otherwise known as bad kid shit and so my friend and i we decided that we were gonna go and egg the house of this guy who had recently dumped a friend of ours, a mutual friend. So that evening we <laughs> were like 15 and we gear up in our our badass costumes. I was wearing like a werewolf mask, a very high quality werewolf mask to be fair. Because um, Halloween is when you're supposed to go scary mode, you know? Like I'm not, I'm not about, like you know, uh, absolutely if people want to do hot girl shit on Halloween, be my guest. It's not for me. I'm trying to go as spooky style, you know? Anyway, so we go to this, <laughs> we get to his house, and we, um, we've got our toilet paper and our eggs, and we start egging the house, thinking that he's not home, because we had been informed that he wouldn't be home. Uh, and then, like, two eggs in, and she was, I think, doing the toilet papering, the TPing. There's the house over that way. Very shortly into this endeavor, he just comes running out of the house with a gigantic baseball bat. Um, and he was one of those guys that, like, is big and also big for high school. So he was, like, a very large human, and we were both two very small 15-year-old girls in masks, so it was not evident that we were girls. So we were thinking, like, this guy could totally have just beat the crud out of us. So, <laughs> so we ran. We ran down this massive hill that was by the house. And, um, I... <laughs> I like tripped and fell into a creek. She dis my friend disappeared at one point and I later found her stashed. She had gone and shimmied up into this willow tree that was really close to the entrance of the neighborhood. Um, and we agreed that like pranking is fun, but not fun enough to be getting chased by a scary older guy who's mad that you're egging his house. So it was, that's the moral of the story. There was an episode of The Big Bang Theory where Peggy got an acting gig where she was playing a character in a horror movie and it turned out, turning into a giant killer gorilla. That sounds like, that sounds like the most dope episode of The Big Bang Theory. Uh, what is it? What's, what is it that Sheldon says? Benghazi. <laughs> Thank you, Atheist Junior. My, my makeup for last Halloween was very fun. The thing is, I'd really wanted to do a Mandrel Hallow stream prior to that. But it turns out there aren't that many excuses to dress up as a Mandrel. Fewer than you would think, to be sure. Okay, I think we need to sleep up before we... Dude, I don't, need, I don't even think I crafted a bed yet. But I don't think you need a bed to sleep. Hmm... 
Let's, I guess let's just lay down. Oh wait, the, <laughs> yeah, as if I'm about to, uh, <clears throat> as if I'm about to have no tutorial. Let's see, controls, game, HUD visibility, full. <laughs> Save and back. Okay, let's see here. Switch hands, switch hands again. Okay, obviously we can't sleep and hold something at the same time. That's too advanced. Okay, we'll sleep till the evening. Bazinga. Sheldon says bazinga. Thank you, Gargamel. Answers in atheism. Bullshit, I have actual answers. Oh, looks like we have a young Earth creationist in the chat. Hello, Yeov. Welcome. Okay, sleep in, sleep in, dawn. Very nice. You need a bed. <clears throat> um, I'm calling... Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. I feel like I just heard something spooky and I didn't like the sound of it. Okay, we don't even need to build a bed now. Okay, let's summon the gang. Clans call. Sweet. <clears throat> that worked really well. Okay, now we need our dealie. Because I don't think that my clan can actually use any weapons yet, unfortunately. Uh, they don't have that kind of know-how. Okay, dismiss. So we're going to go ahead and just... We need... Oh, shoot! I forgot. You have to... You have to do the thing first. Drop. Okay, we've got to strip it. Strip. Very nice. Okay, then strip it again. Oops. And then alter it. I'm a regular tool using ape. <laughs> Creationism is not pog. That's very true, Fernando. Creationism is totally not pog. I would, I would call creationism uh, an epic fail. The most epic of fails. Except maybe, I think flat earthers are probably worse. As much as I hate to admit that. Okay, let's see here. Oh my god, I didn't identify anything in this. <laughs> I guess we could get some quick neuron points for it. Okay, we'll, we'll do some quick identifying. It's all psychads anyways. It's always psychads. I don't know why... Why does my guy, like, choking to death? He's probably hungry. Well, he can wait till we get there. Gore is a tough guy, you know? Tiktaalik. Do you think humans had butts at this stage, or did our ancestors sport chimp bottoms? <clears throat> at this point, because we're not seeing a ton of bipedality, ischial callosities, which are what gives that nice uh, rump pad for monkeys and apes, other apes, to sit on without, like, getting their butts sore, um, ischial callosities were probably still around. And ischial callosities will probably stay around until bipedality starts setting in in full. I would say. I don't know, though. Dapper, what do you think? I mean, the thing is, you guys, um, if you ever want to see what looks just absolutely miserable, <clears throat> or actually, let's talk about what we should be grateful for. Bo <clears throat> both sexes, but especially if you are female. Okay. Can we not? Wait, let's intimidate them. There's so many of us. Oh my god! We intimidated a black Macarotus, Macarotus, a Smilodon. It looks like a Smilodon. And a giant warthog. Yo, you don't mess with the gang. Um, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, things to be grateful for. That females of our species don't go through uh, a non-concealed estrus or a non-concealed ovulation. If you want to see something absolutely horrifying, Look up a black crested macaque in estrus. These, the poor females of this species just have swollen rear ends for like, like, like their ass is dump truck thick is what I'm saying, but not in like a cool way, in like a bummer way. 
And this is essentially so that these, okay, what's showing up? Oh, it's just raining. Nope, just kidding, something is around. Who do we intimidate? Okay, come on guys, let's keep it moving. Um, anyways, the purpose of these just dramatic, dramatic signs of estrus um, is so that these organisms can, the females can signal to the males that they are indeed an estrus and ready to mate. Yeah, you hate to see it. You really hate to see this. Because that means we're going to have to deal with this shit in a minute. <clears throat> but I, at least we got like a feat for it. That's kind of nice. Oh, Otangelo is here. Otangelo, why would you come to a gaming stream, my friend? You don't strike me as the epic gamer type. But I did have fun chatting with you earlier. Uh, if you guys are interested, I was over on Sal and Otangelo's channel. I guess it's Sal's channel, but Otangelo is there. Um, chatting about a conversation that Dr. Dan, who's around here sometimes, <clears throat> had with Michael Behe on his channel today. You guys probably know Michael Behe, I would imagine. Oh, we are tired. I'm asking myself the same thing, Eric. <laughs> says, yes, yeah, speed. Okay, we made it. We made it to the impenetrable fortress. The only problem is there's not a lot of, like, cozy rock cover. Okay, let's see. We'll put the obsidian here. And we'll put the stick here. That's what I call home decorating. Okay, now we need to make a nice bed. Because I think sleeping in a location is how you claim it. Okay, guys. I'm not even in the scary spot. All right. Strip it. Oh, wait. You don't do that. That's right. You just pile them up. Pile them up normal style. Okay, cool. That's one. I think we're... <laughs> I think the shelter must be right at the edge of, like, an air unexplored area. And that's why it's wigging out on us just when we come too close to the, to the scary wall. Okay. I'm literally decorating a room in my house right now, says Atheist Jr. Good luck. I love home decoration. I'm not good at it, but I do love it. The thing about home decoration is you gotta just do you, you know? It should come as no surprise to any of you that there is a lot of monkey-related paraphernalia around my house. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold. All right. Come on, Gore. We can do this. Start construction. Okay. Build. We can rebuild it. The key is slapping the leaves. Okay. Settle. That's it. Let everyone know, Gore. Sweet. Okay, let's see what we got in the old evolution sector. U20 to you says, have you tried the game Spore? Dude, Spore is so fun. I talked about Spore last time I was on here. The thing that makes Spore so fun is the creature creator, and that's like my big investment in Spore. I'd probably spend hours and hours and hours just in the creature creator making weird animals yeah love spore very fun game we're just we're this there's no rhyme or reason to what i'm doing right now we're just upping our neuronal energy or upping our our skills our skill tree here so that we can hopefully at some point <laughs> um evolve into say philanthropus Okay, it's now possible to ask from some distance to ask clan members to follow. I thought we could already do that. Ooh. Prophylactics. Okay, god, that's such a lame one. 
once connected, it will be possible to be shielded for longer. <clears throat> I think we have to eat more unhealthy stuff. Dapper Dino, have you played Creatures 3, the game? Are we, are you kidding me? Dude! I'm just <laughs> whacking him with a stick. Oh my god. Okay, well at least we got the, uh, at least we got, maybe it's only possible in like a, um, in like really, like if you're in your base or something, like as a, because I, I feel like we have definitely, maybe I've just never rushed one before. Still, gore, damn. Gore the uh, Smilodon Slayer. Chad Monkey Stomps Virgin Cat. True. Here's a question. Do you think Denisovans could make it to the Copper Age level of tech before modern humans took over? From Elios 000. Um, that's a really good question. So, Denisovans, or Denisovans, as they're sometimes called, probably had a very similar cognitive ability to Neanderthalensis. Um, that would be my, that would be my thinking. Unfortunately, we don't know as much as we could know about them compared to many other uh, hominins that we have better, better uh, fossil remains for. But we do have Denisovan's DNA, which is something that can't be said for everyone, um, for every, every hominin, certainly. Now, Neanderthals made it really far. Neanderthals were incredibly, had incredibly high cognition. They were capable of using knots, they had fire mastered pretty well, um, they used all sorts of different kind of types of stone tools. They didn't master some of the same kind of napping, um, napping with a K. Cool, I waited too late. They didn't master all of the same kind of napping that humans did, anatomically modern humans did, but by and large there was quite a bit going on there uh, that they were capable of doing. Um, it's thought, too, that they may have engaged in uh, art, like art appreciation, um, given we find some of their materials with, like, hash marks and things like that on it, cut marks, um, in kind of, like, a time keepy style way and sometimes in, like, an artistic way. So, essentially, the point that I'm trying to say is that Neanderthals, for quite some time, we're milling about and using very similar technology uh, to archaic sapiens. So I would imagine that the same would be true for Denisovans, you know, that, that these guys would have been capable of using many of the same technologies that Neanderthals were capable of using. Now the question, could they have reached the Bronze Age is something quite a bit different. I think that it's tempting to be like, nah, probably not because they were around for quite a damn, I mean, they were allowed for, around for a long time but the difference is, humans were, humans were around for a really long time before we figured out metallurgy too. You know, we we were on the beat, we were off the beat for, you know, 300,000 years before we figured out how to do pretty much anything useful. So I think when we're considering the question of could a hominin have done some, could a hominin have done what we do? The answer for me is usually a tentative yes if their brain case size is anywhere close to what we've got. Simply because it took us a lot of time to get there. So who's to say that it wouldn't take them a while too? And what's wrong with it taking a while? Okay, what is this? Wait, I'm, oh, you have to pick it up, right. So my inkling would be that yes, Denisovans probably, and Neanderthals probably, given enough time, could have reached the Bronze Age. Oh, dude. A new rock. 
That's big money. Gargamel. See you guys later. Bye, Gargamel. Thank you for hanging out with us. Sunday Worship. I just bought this game a couple of days ago. Have learned to poke the stick at anything or just straight to murder. Yeah, I've been poking the stick at a lot of stuff. Um, mostly, like, I lifted a couple of rocks up. That was nice. Um, sharpening the stick is always nice. I think we speared a warthog once. A memorized location have been forgotten. I don't care. We also need to get everybody back home. And try this basalt dog with that obsidian. It's like if you did the creature creator and spore an older game called Impossible Creatures, which is awesome. That sounds dope. Okay. Let's see here. Switch the items. I bet you can stack these too. Okay, let's see. Add to the pile. Okay, now we want this. Okay, so, obsidian and basalt. Okay, it, okay, it just, uh, destroys it. Really good, that's really good to know. Basalt gets destroyed by obsidian. Cool. Okay. Jeez. Space saber-tooth cat's like rotting. Okay. End expedition. We're gonna put our we're gonna put a gore to sleep for a minute. He needs a rest. Okay. What else is going on here? Anyone here tried lizard like lizard men for Warhammer 40k? Fernando, you're gonna want to ask Dapper that. Dapper's a big Warhammer fan. I'm still waiting for a carnivorous adaption. Listen, Alexander, something tells me <laughs> we don't even have the mushroom adaption yet. But if we could find some way to, like, look at, <laughs> who is this? Kui was just sleeping on the Smilodon. Okay. I know there's a use for that basalt. Maybe it's, maybe if you use, so we, we've got three rocks. My inkling would have to be that to chop things slice them, cut them, you're going to want to have some kind of stone tool. So maybe, I mean, it's possible too that I just effed it up. Okay, let's see. So this is basalt. I'm going to grab some. Gonna switch hands, grab the old basalt. Switch, because obsidian is always for the hitting. And, what is that, bees? Bees! Okay, alter. That's going to go a wrong way. Switch. Nope. That's, we're definitely not doing it wrong. But it looks like obsidian could hit, or granite could hit obsidian. Basalt could hit obsidian. Okay, nope, that doesn't work either. Okay, but while the question may be out of your expertise, what's the possibility of silicone-based life somewhere in the cosmos? Oh, dude, that's a cool question. I have no idea. I mean, my, I don't know, I tend to, I tend to think that any kind of easily bonding element is going to not have difficult time making life. Um, but then again, our sample size is one, so maybe, it, maybe life is actually very difficult to form. A little whole Fermi paradox and all that stuff, right? So I don't know. I, I, I heard once that if you're going to get silicon-based life, that it's typically going to be like, okay, we're getting out of here. That it's going to be like metabolically slow. <laughs> Matured neuron dodge. Don't mind if I do. Okay, make, make a hand axe. We'll finally figure out what they are for. Yeah, true. Right now I'm on the hunt for granite because I'm sure there's got to be some way to combine all of these different rocks into something useful. So we're just kind of going off in this direction where it looks like the forest ends. Dogecoin? <laughs> what are your thoughts on King Kong, giant gorilla or hominid? Um, it depends on which Kong we're talking about, honestly. Because different Kongs gonna have different styles, you know what I mean? The Peter Jackson Kong is 
to me, probably a large gorilla. <laughs> um, but modern Kong, as in Skull Island's Kong, stands on two legs a lot. He does a lot of bipedal stuff. So maybe that Kong is, like, a hominid. Alright, it's time to do some serious examining up here. As if there's even anything to examine. I feel like the secret is going to be granite. Because granite's been a useless stone so far. So it's basalt, actually. Basalt. Clearly a Gigantopithecus on steroids. Yeah, TV. Probably. Probably is a Gigantopithecus on steroids. The real bummer is the fact that since we know Gigantopithecus is a, uh, a large hominin capable of existing, have there been any other large hominins that have existed that we don't know about yet? Okay, I don't like this chasm. I'm getting the lassophobia, but... The lassophobia, but for land. Fear. General fear. <laughs> okay, fear conquer time, baby. I forget to find the article, Denisovan Ravines had bracelets. Yeah? I mean, we know Denisovans chilled out, like, in the pretty, pretty high altitudes of, like, Tibet and stuff like that. It really wouldn't surprise me too much if Denisovans, some, some members of Denisovans, some populations, had kind of figured out the whole... Is this granite? Please be granite. <clears throat> if they'd figured out the and the whole um, light metallurgy thing. But I think, too, that there's always a chance. Did I just break? That better not have been my basalt. I just broke. Okay, okay. Okay, we, we need to do a, uh, we need to do a, a reset here. What exactly am I holding? Um, anyways, yeah, I think that, um, sorry guys, I'm a little distracted trying to find some rocks around here. Obsidian. Maybe it's obsidian and granite? We've got a few combinations we need to try over here. Away from that snake. Yeah, um... What I was going to say about Denisovans and tools that require metal, I, I, it's been posited that some of those tools or some of those uh, bracelets and stuff could only have been done by metal, but there are other possibilities. It's possible that humans dwelt where Denisovans did after Denisovans had long gone extinct. It's possible Denisovans made the same, like the same kind of bracelet without metal, and we just don't know how they did it. Uh, or it's possible they used metal. Maybe we got a double intimidate here. Okay, we we're gonna go for it. Smackdown. <laughs> we're going after him. Take this boy out. And then pick up the basalt, and we're going again. We're taking this guy out. Monkey style. Golly, he's still going. We gotta get him before the dopamine. Hello? Come on, come on. Face me, you coward. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to kill him with the basil. And that's okay. That's okay. We know our limits. Kill that Titanoboa. Use the sword of Gryffindor. I wish I could. <clears throat> I really... I had a lot of my, uh... <clears throat> fantasy fantasies, if you will. It's just never gonna work, is it? Or maybe... <clears throat> it could be that we're... Genuinely too dumb. Like, maybe we have to mature a neuron or something? Okay. That's basalt. <clears throat> and that is question mark. Let's go see what it is. It's mystery. Okay, 
let's find out what it is for real. Identify? Okay. We've got low dopamine. We gotta take to the trees for a minute. Really cool. Really cool. And we're hysterical. That guy got me around the tree. Okay, we're gonna chill up here while we'll let our dopamine fill back up. Slade says, after watching your last stream, I put this game on my wish list. <laughs> okay, we're hysterical again. <laughs> we just <laughs> gotta stay up here for a minute. Uh, it's a fun game. It's definitely, it definitely can be frustrating. Where's the monoliths? It's Fernando. Yeah, we haven't found it yet, but we're working on it. Does obsidian on obsidian work? Let's try that. The reason I, okay, uh, the reason I believe it will find it'll be carbon-based is because carbon can form more compounds and the rest. Yeah, I think if it's gonna be, if we're gonna find life, <clears throat> it's almost certainly gonna be carbon-based, at least from what I've seen. I'm not an astrobiologist. <laughs> Anyone, anyone watching who wants to clip that out and use it against me, not being an astrobiologist, that's one of my biggest shortcomings. Along with not being a physicist and a bunch of other stuff. There's, there's something under here. What is it? It's like mud. Because it's over here too. Okay. Remember, focus, forget. Okay grab. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, inspect. Another kind of rock, maybe? Or is it just mud? New tool discovery, mud. <laughs> okay, apply. Okay, cool. Okay, applying mud shields against heat, bleeding injuries, and reduces smell. Yeah, that's actually kind of amazing. I'm really glad we found that one. Oh, cool. <clears throat> I thought we already witnessed a rock python kill. Kill a big boar. Okay, so we've got basalt. Maybe we already tried basalt on basalt. We'll bring basalt back just in case something good happens. We figure something out. But really we should be having a, I, I'm such an idiot. We don't even have a baby with us right now. We're not even getting baby points. What a fool I've been. Okay, we're gonna go find baby points. You have discovered mud. Yeah, this is a really advanced game. Okay, maybe we should try obsidian on obsidian, so we're already here. Can we maybe not, big warthog? The thing that sucks about the warthogs in this game is that they're, like, firmly in the middle of the food chain, and they will just... They will just come at you. The warthogs are just totally cool with messing you up. Okay, so obviously... I'm thinking it's gotta be an upgrade. We'll take both the stones back just in case. And I'm sure there's got to be granite near the house. I mean, base. Okay, Slade says, I've always played Evolution Genome. Yeah, creatures. Do you find weed to prove the stone date theory? Um, I love Terrence McKenna. I really do. I, um, I did a video on the stone date theory because I think it's so fun. <clears throat> but psilocybin spurring human evolution is the timing doesn't work. Uh, because Terence McKenna proposed that this was something that occurred, like, essentially the idea, the stone day of hypothesis, is that uh, Australopithecines, while following around herds of wildebeest, um, would sometimes consume the psilocybin magic mushrooms that they found growing in the dung of the wildebeests. But the problem is, Afarensis was not, like, carnivorous. It wasn't Afarensis wasn't at the point where it had incorporated meat fully. Uh, at, at best, it was probably a scavenger or a, like a very light hunter, similar to what we see with chimps today. 
Um, and then more importantly than that, we don't see an explosion in brain case size until like early homo. So like habilis, pretty much an upward. Okay, we really need some bone helping juice. I'm low, <laughs> I'm low on food and low on water. Okay, that's really good to know. But I'm pretty sure you can't actually drink unless you have two hands free, so we'll just leave those rocks there. Come on down here for a quick, quick little swim and drink. What do I have still? Wait, I don't have anything in my hands. What's going on? Do I? Okay, am I still holding something? Switch hands, eat. Okay, I see. Okay, scoop. The nice thing about Ancestors as a game is that it makes doing simple tasks um, difficult, <laughs> which is really fun. I'm actually, I am being sarcastic. I am having a really fun time with this game. Okay, we really got to get gore up to speed here. Okay, grab, switch hands, grab. It's time to get back to the to the house and quick. Dude, I can't believe we killed that Smilodon. Gore is kind of, Gore is kind of OP. You know? Like, I have the utmost faith that, uh, that Awe could have done that if she wanted to. Or Anne. We love Anne. Remember Anne? He was awesome. I think Anne could have done it too. Um, Twu couldn't have done it. Twu definitely couldn't have done it. Twu is what you call, I believe what they're calling them these days is a beta. Drink more water. <laughs> Al Gore is boss. Yeah. I'm really concerned about their more... Smilodons, like, spawning in the house. I'm really not a big fan about how they spawn there. Uh, Elios, what are your thoughts on Coco? Coco the gorilla. Love Coco. Love Coco. Um, the difficulty with teaching apes American Sign Language? I, you can, if you're interested in this topic, you should check out an interview I did with Stuart Stemple here on the channel. Uh, he's an advisor of mine and was really, really keen on has this guy been eating? Oh no, it's rotting. Gross. Um, Stuart is keen. He does a lot of work on uh, the evolution of language and stuff. I wonder if you can even... Okay, I'm a little worried that Kui is obsessed with this carcass. Anyways, yeah, it's anytime you teach apes American Sign Language, you're going to come up with a couple of struggles just because it's very difficult to interpret what they're trying to say correctly, if that makes sense. There's ambiguity in what signs mean. Uh, I think Kanzi is a much better example of teaching apes language, human language, um, because Kanzi uses a lexigram. So it's a, it's a screen with a series of different um, pictures that mean different things. Kanzi presses on the lexigram to get different words from different buttons. And he, commu he can communicate pretty damn well with that thing. He really can. But that being said, I don't think that it's, I don't think that teaching apes, other apes rather, to speak how humans speak is necessarily the way we should be trying to understand them. You know, like maybe we should meet them on their level instead of trying to bring them to ours. Because humans are very unique in that we've put a whole lot of stock in communication, like a whole lot of stock. And that can be a really good thing, for sure. Um, but it kind of makes it a little difficult to appreciate the kinds of communication that other animals are doing. A gomphotheer would be awesome. I was begged by TD to be here, and this isn't even showing <laughs> the tibula. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Wilford. Wilford, uh, he would prefer an Ancestors game that was exclusively about, like, rocks. Like, Wilford, Wilford kind of wishes that we had a game where you play as a tectonic plate. Um, and if you're like, wow, that sounds like a really unfun game, you're right. Kyle, 
Hi, Erica. How are you? I'm doing well, Kyle. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, I'm having a really good day. Went out and did some running. It was horrible. Um, but I did see some really pretty birds while I was out. It was nice. And let's see. I had pizza for dinner, so that's always nice. I don't know. Things are pretty routine for me right now. Pandemics kind of ruined my spontaneity streak. Erica returning to monkey. I wish. Yeah, that was some responses to Coco had about communicating. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Coco, I think it would be overly pessimistic to propose that Coco wasn't saying some stuff. Um, and from what I hear, her trainer, who knew her better than anyone else, was proposing that Coco was capable of essentially making entirely new words. Um, so, for instance, if she was trying to refer to, like, a ring, she would say finger bracelet, which is in absolutely incredible. Big if true, as the kids would say. Uh, the question is, is it true? I don't know. Maybe. Could be. I really don't like that there's a rotting Smilodon in the middle of the camp. I feel like that's going to attract other Smilodons. Okay, now the moment of truth. We're going to use the basalt on the granite. Yeah, okay. Well, science is progress, and progress is trial and error. So we'll keep trying, baby. Okay. Now let's try it the opposite way. Let's try the granite on the basalt. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. The thing is, the game doesn't let you just hit two rocks together. What'd I get? What'd I get? Alter a, okay, a granite rock can alter a granite rock. Okay, so both of those were granite. Entirely useless. What'd I get? Okay, wait, I was analyzing the wrong thing. Looks like some kind of different rock. New tool discovery. Granite grinder. Sweet. I wonder what that's going to help us do. Put this over here. Drop. When I drop the grinder? Yeah, the grinder. Okay, now maybe we try the grinder on the basalt. What do you think? Is that going to be a recipe for disaster? Are we wasting our time? Okay, Slade, I missed what you said. Let me back it up. Okay, do you know how our way better ability to digest carbs than other apes and eat more carbs through cooking has helped our brains grow as brains prefer carbs as fuel. Um, <laughs> granite grinder sounds like an app for geologists. Yeah, there you go. You got Mr. Wilford. Damn, how did you tell the best joke of the night? Kind of pisses me off, actually. Um, really good question, though, Slade. That's, that's, that's a really good one. I think so the thing about the thing about our species is that when it comes to digesting sugars that's like what we're made to do um, we do it in the form of like fruits we do it in the form of starchy vegetables so it's not that far of a leap to be able to do the same thing with grains um, it, it would have been a relatively smooth transition although the degree of grains that we consume is pretty intense i'm actually not sure what i'm doing right now oh we're going to get more basalt so it would have been a pretty like a pretty, like I said, a pretty easy transition from getting carbohydrates from fruits to grains. Not a perfect one, certainly, but not too difficult. This is the basalt, right? Yeah. That being said, uh, the transition was a lot more difficult for dogs. They still did the same, though. Once we domesticated them, or they domesticated us, from their wolf form, they started consuming a lot of, like, um, refuse from human settlements, archaic human settlements, uh, even just, like, rock shelters and things of that nature. And with that incorporation of more grain into their diet, they are now like pretty damn efficient at processing it um, to this day, which is really cool. Starchy veggies, ew, you're not cooking them right, Dapper. Starchy veggies are delicious, fight me. My dogs love bread. I consider it a worrying addiction. Yeah, my dogs love bread too, but so do I. Who am I to deprive them of it? The answer would be a good pet owner. 
Okay, let's try maybe evolving. I'm, I'm thinking that maybe that's the answer here because I don't think a grinder is gonna help us like do anything too intense. Please tell me, okay. Okay, good, almost no neuronal energy. That's really good news. Okay, uh, that's not what we want. What is this? Gross motor skill. The rate for using a tool will successfully increase. Okay. Okay, cool. Maybe that was it? Okay, we're gonna try it again. There's a secret with the basalt and I know it. But I'm really worried I'm about to gank it up with this obsidian. Obsidian is the hard rock, so that one gets to go first. Please don't crush it. It that, okay. Okay, but that's, that's definitely how you do it, for sure. Okay, cool. We're going on a we're going on a basalt hunt because there is a new secret tool that we're about to learn. Because the fact that it could take two hits, that's good. That's good for us. Okay. Noxum says, speaking. Let's see. Speaking of diet, what do you think of the more complex carbohydrates in our ancestors' diets, like milk? Milk is not for everyone. Um, the fact that there's a huge bias in modern human populations of who can actually digest it is really telling. Now, milk can be supremely helpful if you're like living on the steppes, the Mongolian steppes, and you need a good source of calcium and fat. You're gonna get a lot of that from milk, which is great. Uh, but interestingly enough, the mutation for, uh, for developing or for like utilizing lactase, the enzyme that breaks down lactose, is only in Northern Europeans and has kind of facilitated its way through other humans, which is why most people who are lactose intolerant uh, are typically from like the Southern Hemisphere and very specifically Southeast Asia, interestingly enough. So, you know, the, the thing about the human diet is that we're, we're really weird. <laughs> we're just really, we're really weird as a species. Uh, we're effectively garbage disposal stomachs. We can eat a whole lot. It's partially what led to our success is that we are phenomenal generalists. Um, and we are generalists that can specialize, which is even cooler. Um, so yeah, try me, buddy. I'll climb right up this tree and run away from you. Yeah, okay, not fair. I'm really not loving this whole thing where the pigs can just charge you while you're like climbing up a tree, you know? And I drop the obsidian. This is, this is why you don't trust pigs. Pigs and snails. TV, interestingly, Australopithecines may do decently on the North American plains as they are basically a savanna that gets snow. Yeah, maybe. I think that's possible. I mean, the, the only thing about that is that Australopithecines, <clears throat> as far as the kind of savanna that they're very adapted to, um, it kind of lends itself to an aridity. Like, I don't know that the moisture that you get in North America would be very good for them, that if they would necessarily thrive in it. There's that stupid swamp. It sure would be neat, though. Who's, who's walking around around here? One of those pigs. Those guys are obsessed with me. The thing about this game is that it plays this calm, fun music when nothing dangerous or exciting is happening, which means the music almost never plays <laughs> because something horrible is always happening or exciting. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, Noxum says the divide is interesting, particularly in Europe where I'm from. Italy, the divide is rather prominent. Those from the north consume more milk, but those from the south do not. Yeah, that's that's super interesting. I'm really that's really strange that it's on a microcosm like that. I wouldn't have considered that. Okay. Yeah, reach me up here, dumbass. Come on. Okay, what's shake? <laughs> Should have been looking behind you, my friend. Should have been looking behind you. The snake isn't even eating the boar. It just left the boar there. But this is an opportunity for us to try to incorporate some 
meat in the diet. No, 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 no. That was the wrong move. That was the wrong move by me. Monkey mistake. Tick talent. We were discussing Smilodons in chat, and I realized that with the quaternary, quaternary, I'm still working on that, the quaternary mass extinction, this is the second mass extinction we're provoking. Yeah, so that's, that's an interesting one. Uh, there was a study that came out pretty recently. Okay, seriously? You get that long of a strike range on that snake? Um, <clears throat> there's a paper that came out pretty recently about how when we're timing, like when we're looking at a graph of mass extinctions across the Pleistocene uh, and the early Holocene, um, climatic change actually matches mass extinctions far better. And what that suggests is that all megafauna was getting really hit hard by climatic change. And for whatever reason, humans did okay, and then we proceeded to exacerbate the problem. Point being, we're not the only ones that, I'm about to do a brave thing, we can. Hold on. Oh, come on, buddy, try it. We're gonna hit you with basalt. I mean, obsidian. That could have gone better, but it could have gone worse. Okay, switch hands. Inspect. Can snake climb tree? No, thank God. Neither can the Smilodons. It's like the unrealistic part of this game that's really nice. Okay, grab. Inspect. <laughs> what is this? A kidney? A liver? Some kind of delicacy? It is mammal meat. <laughs> this is definitely going to make my monkey sick. But we're trying to incorporate nutrients here, so we're eating it anyways. We're just going to keep making him sick and then going and drinking water. Becoming omnivorous. We can't assimilate from the mammal kind of food. We're just going to keep eating for a minute. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Gore. Um, Noxon, I watched your interaction on R and Ross channel. Can you please give me an update on your studies and projects? How are you? Greetings from Ireland. Hello, Noxon. Yeah, I'm doing quite well. Um, I got into a PhD program, so I'll be starting my doctorate in the fall, which is going to be very cool. And other than that, things have been going well. I submitted my thesis for a first draft uh, revision. So that's kind of the projects on the legit level. On the less professional level, we're doing a better schedule here on this channel. And I'm thinking too about uh, a couple of big product projects that I kind of want to run, get done. But we'll see. Look for snake eggs and eat them too. Okay, Dylan, thank you. The baby keeps trying to eat. It's not for babies. Oh wait, we gotta put this we gotta put this rock down before we can drink water. You know this guy, gore cannot handle. That's too much for him. You know? Self-care is drinking water without holding a rock. I know Wikipedia bad. <laughs> Wikipedia bad TV. Yeah, I keep calling it a Smilodon. I know it's not a Smilodon. It also, I just, you know, I don't know. I like calling it a Smilodon. Matured neuron omnivore. Hell yeah. You love to see it. That's minky water, and it's getting dark. There may be croc. That's a really good point. I'm not trying to do that, you know? We might sleep in this tree here instead of going back. Look at this nice, calm, oh, dude. Okay, Slade, excellent idea, because I totally hear of freaking Smilodon, big cat, Dinophilus, MF. Yeah, look, there he is. Really good call there, Slade. Bad kitty, yeah, true. Okay, we're just gonna do a nice little lie down. Sometimes you gotta do a little monkey rest, you know? It's, we're sleeping it off. RGM. Yeah, Africa has no shortage, that's for sure. And has never really had a shortage. <laughs> ah, yes. The time I dreamt about getting killed by a big cat. <laughs> B 
beautiful. Okay, daily regiment update. Okay, what do we got? Big snake? You love to see it. This time I'm ready for big snake with rock. This looks like it's rotting, but we really need that omnivory. Sometimes, you know, you gotta eat a little rotten meat. Where's Mokele Membe? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Where's Mokele Membe? That's, you know, you guys know that sauropod dinosaurs are still living in Africa now, right? The creationist said so. Average meter versus average omnivory enjoyer. True. What did I get? Is this a bone? Oh, that is very metal. A hard bone. Os solidum. Thank you. Thank you for that. Rotten meat, just regular meat with extra maggots. That's true. Okay, let's see. We need to bring back some basalt, because we just... Where's that coming from? I hear that SOB. We're about to try this bone out on him. <laughs> and mod in the fun way. Come on, bring it on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah! Hard bones can be used to strike a black Macurotus. Thank you for the info. We figured it out ourselves. In Australia, if Australia can go to war with theropod dinosaurs, why can't sauropod still be alive? Yeah, very true. Yeah, those emu had it coming. And y'all still got your asses kicked. Is that a tibula? <laughs> yeah, tell Mr. Wilford to come back. We finally found the tibula. We finally found it. After all these years. Name, name a better, uh... I, I, honestly, I can't think of anyone smarter than Nephilim Free, if we're being quite honest. He's the smartest, the smartest guy that I know. Period. Period. Definitely, definitely never gets things wrong. Definitely never talks outside of his field. I know what you're thinking. What field? Um, yeah, real, real stellar dude. Real, real knowledgeable. G-Man is smarter. <laughs> G-Man's smarter than everyone, to be fair. That's actually, that's an excellent point. I've never met a smarter guy. Although, to be fair, I, I don't rag too hard on G-Man, because G-Man I actually enjoy talking to more than I do with Nephi. G-Man has always been fine to me. Yeah, come on, Snake. Bring it on, I'll hit you with this bass all. Kick ass with the bass, I always say. Yeah, creationists have ideas. Have <laughs> issues with ideas of population numbers. Yeah, creationists have a few issues. They might have a couple. My nine-year-old likes your intro. Aw, that's awesome, Sora. Thank you. That is amazing to hear. That intro took me so long, I can't even explain to you how long that took. By the way, we're going back to uh, evolve and add omnivory. And get stung by bees. Creationist, Creation Myths is here. What's up, Dan? I was talking about your bee talk earlier today. I don't, I don't like, you know, when they play the fast drums in this game, that's almost always a bad sign. The fast drums usually mean something is, something is hot on our trail. You don't want to mess with it. Your intro is amazing. Thank you, Slade. Yeah, you guys. I, uh, <laughs> I saw something on Reddit the other day that was like, what's one thing you really hate about, uh, YouTube channels? Like, hate about YouTube these days. Okay. This one wasn't intentional, but we're still gonna hit him with the rock. Striking. Basalt can be used to strike. Um, yeah, I saw this thing on a, a Reddit, Ask Reddit thread that was like, what do you hate about modern YouTube channels? And someone mentioned, I hate when intros are too long. And I was just like, pokes fingers at each other, whimpers sadly. Because my intro is freaking long as hell. But I'm not changing it. I put too much time into it. <laughs> Maybe I'll put like a skip, a skip button for people who want to complain about it. 
I actually haven't had anybody complain about it so far, so. Vandalia, is this pre or post flood? Yeah, great question. Invest bongo, achieve perfection. That's true. By the way, I don't hear game audio, so I don't hear the drones. Can you guys not hear game audio at all? Also, creation, it's no problem. I wanted everybody to see that. Wait, can you guys hear any audio from the game at all? Timestamp to the timestamp the videos? Yeah, I probably should do that. Damn, there's no audio? I had this perfected last time. Dang it, that means you guys haven't seen any of the you've only been hearing me like breathing. It's at two percent. The game is very quiet. I can only hear the loudest sounds. Okay, hold on. We'll fix this. I have an inkling on how this can be done. Okay, let's see. Video capture. Oh, both of those things are all the way up. Desktop audio. Okay, we're going to try it now. Okay, is that better? You guys tell me. It's ASMR. Get out. <laughs> Don't ever say that to me again, Fernando. It's ASMR. You just... <laughs> yeah. Monkey ASMR. I can't hear... I can hear the peak of the drums. There we go. Cool. I can't believe you couldn't even hear the, them calling to each other. Here, can you hear the song of our people? I can't believe you guys were missing out on that. I can hear clearly now that the rain is gone. Get out, Dan. Dan Maser. Better, stronger, faster. No, everyone can hear. Okay, let's add omnivory to our evolutionary tree, shall we? Okay, let's see. Oh, thank God. Okay, mammal food acclimatization. Connect that bad boy. The symptoms following <laughs> the ingestion of meat from mammals are less severe. What a great, uh, what, that is just a superb motivator for eating mammal meat. Really, really good. Okay, building. What do we got here? One item less is needed. Thank you. I was having a really hard time finding enough cycad leaves. Deep sleep. Less sleeping will be needed to fully recover. Uh, that's worth connecting. Except we're out of neuron energy. We cannot yet drop the child. Everything reminds me of a song. Meet. Meet the medic. Y'all were in my ASMR. Canton, don't... <laughs> You don't want that kind of ASMR, trust me. Oh, we were gonna try to make the, um, the basalt obsidian tool. Okay, grab. Wait, I can never remember what rock actually looks like what. Okay, I think we've got obsidian. Did I not have my own stick identified? Really cool. Drop, make sure that's... Okay, no, I had granite. So we want obsidian, I mean basalt, and now we need to go find some obsidian. And then we'll try over and over again until we get something. And then we'll also hope that we don't run into any Smilodon since we don't have any weapons. I mean, technically a rock is a weapon. Technically. Technically. I guess many people through time have been killed by rocks. Or rarely, maybe even the rock. You can unsubscribe. <laughs> this this game's smart. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Didn't this game get pretty bad reviews at first? Um, it didn't get bad reviews, but it definitely got a... The game is good, but it's very frustrating. Um, and I can definitely see... I can definitely see why people would get frustrated by this game. Um, fortunately, I'm not here for fun or engaging gameplay, even though I feel I'm getting that. I'm here because I like to cosplay as a monkey. And by monkey, I mean mystery ancestor of humans and panins. And we're on the hunt. You ever notice how you are literally tripping over obsidian? Literally tripping over obsidian? And then when you need it, you can't find it? Ooh, mushrooms. We're going to try to assimilate the mushroom. <laughs> Baby, 
I really love the, the baby animations, honestly. If you enjoy the game for nothing other than a little baby, a little tiny baby hominoid hanging out on the back of a, a very paternally active hominoid dad. I mean, this is the kind of content that I want in my video games, right? Stereotype breaking ape fathers. Victor Cherry, thank you so much for this super chat. It says, you gotta make a basalt chopper or obsidian scraper and always travel with such tool. It works as a weapon and you can always make a pointy stick. Okay, I need you to tell me this, Victor. Am I on the right idea with smashing the obsidian into the basalt? Basalt? Whatever. Is that the right move? Because I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm on the right track. But we'll see. Primate. Thank you, TV. <laughs> Thank you, TV, for that uh, excellent, excellent input. <laughs> I can't believe there are 66 people watching me play this game. I'm really glad you guys are here. Um, and it was because of, you know, I wasn't really planning on necessarily continuing this series, if you want to call it that. But I got so many really kind, genuinely interested, and funny comments uh, saying that they had fun last stream. So I thought, okay, well, I guess we'll just do another one. So, thank you. Okay, what, what do we got here? Basalt hitting obsidian is what you want to try. Okay. Matured neuron omnivore. Yeah, that better be for that. That better be for the, uh, for the mushroom eating. Okay. Okay, we are getting some serious slapping going on here. Did, okay, I'm like 99% sure that's how we do it. We gotta see it through to the end now, true. Just an infinite stream of monkey game. Okay, cool. Jeez. A white Machiarotus. I don't like that one bit. Eesh. No, thank you. Alright, now that we're up here safely. <laughs> just for good measure. Okay, we're gonna have to keep climbing or we're gonna go... <laughs> Oh my god, the snake is our friend. Did you just see him like yeet into a corner there? Snake friend. The snake lives. Jeez, there's so many snakes in this area. But we really need the basalt. Okay, give me the basalt, switch. Okay. We are so, I can tell, we're so close. Okay, okay, hold on. We're, we're standing bipedally. Okay, I think I've gotta be even more careful than I was being previously. We've just gotta gently tap it, like a lover's caress. No holding too long. Oh my god, we're so close. I can tell it's becoming something. Yes! What do we got? Okay, inspect. It looks like a new tool discovery basalt chopper. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, seriously? We're taking him out. With the basalt chopper. <laughs> okay, I don't know who just... Okay. I don't like the snake anymore. I was in on the snake, and now I'm out on the snake again. 
we've gone from noodle equals friend back to dangerous noodle. Oh my god, is he guarding? <sighs> okay, really uncool, dude. I think we're gonna have to try to kill the snake, because I want to see what the basalt chopper does. If I go up to the... What, why are the bongos? Why the bongos? Sharp rock go burr. True. This game rocks. I wish I could remember the name of the artist. Erica, be careful, you can break bones if you jump from too high. Yeah, I was un I was incorrectly told by Be a Wolf that you can't actually take damage from falling from high places. And then we took a lot of damage when we fell from a high place. The moral of the story was don't trust Be a Wolf. I'm just kidding, Be a Wolf gave us a lot of good tips. Okay, are we frightened? Okay, low dopamine. That means we're about to go into panic mode. Dude, did we drop our chopper? That's not funny. Where did the chopper go? We have to get it back. Okay, there it is. Is that the chopper? We don't leave without the chopper. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use the chopper on this white big kitty. Must recover rock and take revenge. That is absolutely it. Okay, a carcass. Okay, the... <laughs> you must eat the enemy. Become the enemy. Sorry. Bang, that's you guys' ears, probably. Ooh, okay. Butcher meat faster. I didn't even know we could butcher meat already. I don't know, how you, has Monkey become the king of all monster from Red Shot? Uh, no, but we're working on it. We're totally working on it. We're about to head back to the base with our basalt chopper in hand. A hard one basalt chopper. True, Brad, get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. I don't do accents on this channel anymore because last time I did a Scottish one, I got roasted by you guys. You were right, but still hurt my feelings. <laughs> okay, hold on. Switch to the switch hands. I don't like how psychedelic it gets when you accidentally eat or intentionally eat foods you're not supposed to eat. Kind of makes me feel like Terrence McKenna. Consume feline flesh, become cat boy. <laughs> if only. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Remember what they took from you. <laughs> Monkey cat boys. Thanks, evolution. No one is allowed to hurt Erica's feelings anymore. Thank you, Tiktaalik. I need protectors. My, my... <laughs> I'm very... Oof, feelings hurt easily. Very sensitive. The most sensitive evolutionist out there. Catboy Arby's, get out. <laughs> Seriously, again? Dude, these guys don't even... Did we... I better not have dropped the chopper. Okay, good. Where's home again? Okay, hiding spot. Where's home? I lost sight of it because I was getting chased by a big pig. Is it up? Okay, there it is. Oh boy. You know, sometimes, sometimes you're the monkey with the uh, basalt chopper, and sometimes you're getting chopped by the monkey with the basalt chopper. Now, I, I want to be very clear about something. I'm, I'm saying monkey in meme context. Obviously, there is a colloquial distinction between what we are here, a Talus 2123 dental formula, highly mobile so shoulder joint, highly mobile shoulder joint. Uh, enormous brain-to-body-size ratio to ape, and classic monkey 
least considered in the uh, traditional use sense. But at the same time, monkey, M-O-N-K-E, encompasses every primate. Because it's hilarious. Always will be. The, the, <laughs> the only meme that will never die. Let, <laughs> lest it go the way of the I can't ask cheeseburger of yore. Summon an Eldritch Deity. I wish I could summon an Eldritch Deity. I'll tell you what, if you really want to see me look like an Eldritch, you want to summon an Eldritch Deity, just go watch an old video where I hadn't mastered lighting yet. I still haven't mastered lighting, but it's not as bad as it used to be. We'll put the, we'll put the chopper here. Uh, because I looked like I was the, uh, about to descend on the House of Usher. That's Poe. What's the, um, Inmyth? I looked like I was about to descend on Inmyth. Oh, show me the money. Mushrooms. You love to see it. Okay, mushrooms are less severe. We haven't quite gotten this one yet. What are the other things that we're trying to eat? Probably, like, what is that, fish? Hmm. Some kind of new bug, maybe? I don't know. Okay, what do we got going on over here? What's this? Okay, tech... Tech... Tech-psychia. I do my best. Mmm, mushrooms. True. Okay, the margin of error is increased during attacks because more time is allowed. Okay, cool. You, you do like to see that. I guess we'll do deep sleep, too. I don't know that we'll even be able to connect it, though. Sweet. Okay. I think it might be time to have another child. Okay, and then we're going on a new expedition. What do we got going on in the chat? Make sure you dodge the wild Joe Rogan when it appears. It'll force you to do DMT. Oh my god. I really don't want it to force me to listen to a conversation about wrestling. Listen, I can be hip with the rest of them, but wrestling conversation? I don't know that I can handle it. <laughs> We're just a big, big drinking pile of monkeys over here. Okay, do we even have a mate? Oh my god, are we single? Gore! Who's this lovely lady? Ooh, coupled with key. Well, Clue. Come on, Clue. Come on over here. Let me woo you with my grooming skills. Maybe I'll make the same joke I made last time. We'll see. Ah, this is how I bonded with my fiance. You guys like it? Same joke twice? Maybe it'll land twice. Okay, cool. Oh my god, everyone was so psyched that we formed a couple. Okay, end expedition. Lie down. Call. Okay, drop child. <laughs> Call me. I demand intimacy. <laughs> yeah, I forgot why I don't... I fr I'm always reminded why I don't play as males in this game, typically. Because of the, uh, the mating grunts. I'm just kind of out on those, you know? Okay, let's see. Analyze. We want to be clue. Switch. Because clue can't give birth. Okay, and call mate. Get over here, gore. And mate. <laughs> I don't love those sounds either, but they're better. It's an improvement. Glad we can hear that now, true Canton. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I had to hear it and suffer, so 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 say a thigh to you. Wait, did we not give birth? Wait, did mating not work? Okay. I guess a new pregnancy didn't happen? Is it not always successful? We did. Am I not? Oh god. I really hope we're not family related or something. 
Okay, adult male coupled with clue. Wait, Gore, come back. Gore. Listen. We need to, uh, you know, we need to sort things out. This is when my fiance comes in and he says, what's going on? How's the gaming stream? And then I say, I'm trying to fix my, uh, I'm trying to fix my ape's infertility issues. And then he says, do I want to know? Okay, not fertile. I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, foe is fertile, so I guess we're gonna have to, uh, I guess this is turning into a non-pair bonding lineage. <laughs> Real sorry there, uh, clue. <laughs> I guess Gore is a bit of a player. Gore, Gore, Gore is not as monogamous as we might like him to be. I don't think Gore is like an elder though. I guess... Okay, I guess like... I guess... Oh, jeez. Uh, mm. <laughs> Things that make me blush. Compliments. And, um, when my, uh, when my ape avatars get intimate in my evolution game. You know, this, this really is what the evolutionists want. They, in, in my ideal, uh, evolution-dominated world, uh, all, all kids must undergo, um, the kids in high school with their sex education must play through ancestors. Okay, we've seen plenty of that. New baby. Excellent. Okay. Alright, I guess we're going on an adventure with Foe right now. Okay, come on, Foe. Get the other baby. Come on. Pick up the other baby, too. Foe needs to work on her, uh, core strength, too. Okay, we'll bring the chopper, and we're going on an expedition. We're about to ramp up some serious neuronal energy. We could have taken Gore, but I honestly don't want to risk Gore, because I like him. And since we're going on a dangerous expedition to new places, uh, chances are not zero that Bo will die. We're going to risk it anyways. Because we're, we're in it for the, uh, for the new excitement, you know? The adventure. The adventure of leading the life of a hominin 10 million years ago. Okay, Noxum says, types of food in game, insects, mushroom, meats. Ooh, okay, so maybe it's nuts. No, it wouldn't be nuts. Oh, it's eggs. That's what it is. Make the babies throw boo poo at incoming enemies. Yeah, like little turrets. There's gotta be a pun in there somewhere. Okay, we need a target. Okay, we'll make it that thing and memorize. All right, let the adventure begin. Okay, it was literally right in front of me. Turdits? Does that work? Turrets, poo turrets, turdits. It's mandatory to laugh at that joke. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, what's going on? Evolve into Bigfoot, no. Evolve into crab, done. Evolve into a TikTok, double no. The thing is, I... I am neither funny enough nor cringy enough to be a TikToker. You, you have to be one or the other. Okay, surely there's some more analyzable stuff right here. Because our dopamine is about to be gone forever. Okay, are we gonna have to risk it? I don't even know where we fell to just now. Please, 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 please! Oh my god. Please. Okay, this is about to go poorly for me. Okay, okay, hold on. There's gotta be some stuff to analyze. Okay, analyzing stuff increases dopamine. There's gotta be more stuff to analyze, please. Oh my god. We're gonna have to go for it. 
flowing down river. Oh, this is not a good deal. Oh, we're in hysteria mode. Okay, okay, make it up high, make it up high. Is it too late? Are we seriously... It's gonna boot us back, isn't it? Oh, I hate this. Yeah, we're about to get booted back to the nest. Shoot! <laughs> That's frustrating. Oh, well. That's okay. We'll go try it again. But this time we'll be even more fast. We'll be even fast. Me so fast. Really, I'm really, uh, I'm really RPing the role here, you know? Me so fast, go to scary place. Imagine if you just showed up for the stream right now. What a nightmare that would be. Ooh, what is this? Some kind of new fruit? Wait, is it a new fruit? I don't even know if it is. Grab? Okay, inspect. It is totally a new fruit. What do you guys think? Big grape? Date? That's kind of like a big grape. I don't think so, dude. Get the f*** out of here. Use a basalt chopper as a tool twice. I mean, I for one think tool using can be pretty summed up as just beating warthogs over the head with basalt choppers. What do you guys think? The curse of the tibula. <laughs> oh my god, it's back. The thing is, I have such a negative connotation with tibula, just in general. Like, both from the fact that my first lineage was the tibula lineage and got ganked, uh, and the fact that it reminds me of Nephilim Free, which is arguably significantly worse. You really do love to see it. You love to see it from the, uh, from the creationists, really bringing out the big, really bringing out the big guys. Look at a long fruit. How long until monkeys evolve into crabs and snakes? The most common things things evolve into. Um, I don't know, 10, maybe 20? Take pointy stick with you. Don't worry, Victor. We we succeeded in getting the basalt chopper. I can't think of much. I can't really think of many things that would be more disturbing than like a, a monkey snake hybrid. That's a horrible mental image. That's like I'm picturing like a Geiger esque, you know, alien xenomorph, horrific hybrid. I'm I'm out. I'm out on it. I gotta be honest. You know, very little interest in monkey snake hybrid. Now Ooh. monkey crab hybrid. I'm also not interested in. That's also horrifying. Ooh. It's okay though, because we'll all be dead by the time that happens. LOL, don't give the sci-fi channel any ideas. Uh, I for one welcome our new uh, pan crablodites overlords. Aw oh, dude, are you serious? Can we not for like 10 seconds? Oh my god, this moron can't get up the rock. <laughs> Boy, that must really suck. This really suck to not be able to do basic climbing. Not that I know anything about that. As an ace climber. Of course, now I'm, now I'm on the ground. Abjectly a more scary location. Okay, there's a thing over there. We can totally swing on that. We're gonna go for it. Grab it! Okay. Okay, we gotta move quick to the conquer zone. Okay, conquer our fear. Oh, yeah. Foe isn't playing around. It really is sad to see all my grandchildren fight like this. Yeah, I know. Tiktaalik. You, you crawled out of the water so that we could fight. Your fins looked like that so that our hands could look like this. How drunk is your ape? Wasn't that a song? Uh, as drunk as humanly possible. Overcome your fear. Don't worry, Alexander, we did that. Right now we're on a hunt for the triangle. 
I'm hoping it's going to be a cool new oasis because I feel like the game rewards you for moving what I can... In my brain, it's like north. I know it's not north. But it feels north. So we're going to call it north. You know what I mean? Call that... Uh, feelings don't care about your facts logic, which is um, the only superior type of logic. Okay, this is a pretty, this is a pretty cool location if we can unlock it. Okay, ideally we can scan a zillion things um, and not get booted back to the flippin' cascade base oasis. But who knows if that'll actually happen. Crossing this looks like it's gonna be kind of time consuming. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone help. We're getting we're floating. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Alright. Alright, I learned my lesson. This is gonna take our ass right down the waterfall. Oh my god. That would have been really funny, but really horrible. Okay, can we make this jump? We're gonna risk it. We almost went over the falls. Um, what is it, the, uh, the Emperor's New Groove quote? Big waterfall ahead? Yep. Pointy rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Okay. Two more pigs trying to get in a fight with me for absolutely no reason. I literally didn't do anything to them. Also, when did I break a bone? Oh, from probably being tossed down the river. Getting tossed down the river, I feel like, is punishing in this game. And, you know, maybe, like, maybe it should be, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> I kind of deserve to be in trouble for just jumping in the river. I feel like evolution isn't going to reward me for that. Wait, what is that? The conquer the fear mode? You are not that hurt. So, you're not that hurt. Current go burr. Yeah, true. East towards the ocean. Okay, we're going east. Eastward towards the ocean. It's pretty cool that there's a big-ass ocean in the game. I'm hoping we'll get a sequel with surfing and or sailing monkeys. Maybe you can get Matt Pal to review it. Local genius Matt Pal. In case you guys were unaware. Oh my god, we're getting like... We are getting so ganked right now by fear and dopamine. Okay, head to the conquer zone. The conquer zone is across the river. Oh my god, we're gonna have to make an incredible jump. I don't know if Foe is up to the task. Alright, Foe, I really need you to be on it this time. Oh, Foe, she was so on it. Alright, I'm warming up to Foe, I have to be honest. I also like how she beats the crap out of that little kid when she hits her chest. Become <laughs> become an aquatic ape. Make a cult called the Tibulites. <laughs> yeah, true. Ape Lantis. Nice. Yeah, maybe we... <laughs> yeah, we go, we go to the sea, find the Statue of Liberty. It's a human. Just a mind bender. A real thinker. Okay. I don't know what this is gonna be. But we're about to find out. Please be something cool. Discover. It's gonna be like, you found the fat river basin. Where the... <laughs> Close. Where the rivers meet. Good night. Had a long day. Thank you for being here, Brad. We love to see ya. Using sound is the best way to find lost members or outsiders. Thank you, Noxum. That's helpful. Got to mountains. Cause an avalanche. Um... Monkey puns are rewarded here. The map is huge. Oh my god. Okay, I'm excited. I'm also scared, because I know there's a savanna portion, and I know that that's going to be unkind to us. We don't do well on the savanna uh, until we get some bipedality going. And for whatever reason, it seems like our... Seems like our pal here, Bo, doesn't feel like standing up on two legs. She was like being lazy. Hear a snake over there somewhere. Hmm. 
That looks like a cool Navy base. Let's see if we can't get over there. Okay. You know what I say about bongos, you guys. When the bongos arrive, we run and hide. Coward Savannah's pog. <laughs> Yeah, okay, TV. Become the Apex Predator. Okay, I'm about to put a new ban. If you like the monkey puns, I'll go in and you'll have Simi in a few minutes when I return. How far is, does this game go, anyway? All the way to Modern Human? No, this game only goes to the Australopithecines. Uh, probably late Australopithecines, I'd imagine. So, like, probably Sediba? But, we do get to make it to the savannah. And, um, I don't know, this is a fun activity for me to hang out with you guys, so we're just gonna keep doing it. And, uh, haters don't at me. Just kidding. I'm very sensitive to haters. Please do at me so I can improve my behavior and make a better channel. Bravely ran away. True. You can be bipedal. You can't- you will be bipedal by the time you reach the savannah. Okay, cool. That's good to know. I'm really hoping we're about to stumble across a really dope new habitat up here. I mean, like an oasis. Okay, I really need you to get your shit together here, foe. Excellent. Things are going well for us. <laughs> Famous last words. Okay, I hear some kind of goose honking. It wouldn't surprise me if the, uh, if the ultimate apex predator enemy in this game was just a Canadian goose. Looming. Ready to kill. Okay, discover. Show me an oasis, please. I'm banging the bongos, get running. Oh god. Great Lake. Split waterfall oasis. Sweet. Well, we'll, we'll scope it out. We'll see if it's good. Let's see... This seems okay, but I also feel like this is a place where, uh, jackass Smilodons might spawn and just wreck my shit, which I really don't want. Goose is the ultimate life form. I know. Agreed. I see a goose and I'm out. Okay, so, now that we've identified this place, I'm going to intentionally get Hysteria so that we don't have to walk all the way back. Which is the, uh, this is what you would, what some would refer to as a, uh, as a slick, as a slick one who games play. Otherwise known as an epic gamer move. Great Lake sweet. We're trying to amp our dopamine. If you bought a treat to a lab monkey, it could be a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. How dare you. He right, though. Come on. Activate Hysteria. We need to spook this monkey. There we go. This is exactly what we want. And then we're moving the gang to the split oasis. Come on. But was just too brave, honestly. <laughs> Not that brave. Cool. Okay. Hysteric femoid can't handle evolution. <laughs> True. If the sequel game has custom character creator, make your monkey dark and edgy with red and black fur. Um, yeah. I, my ideal... My ideal monkey just looks like Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay, alright. Let's get to switching the hand. Lie down. Drop the child. Drop the other child. And we'll do evolution. Did you hear about the primate country single? Her name is Barbara Mandrill. Pro stats only PhD level players should try this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm actually, um... Yeah, G, G Fuel is sponsors me, so. Evasive action. That feels like a really good one. I'm into the evasive action. Preparation for dodging. 
See, the thing is, we're always getting attacked by big jerk lions and, I mean, big cats, I guess that's the better way of putting it. Okay, what's this? Mirror neuron. Ask clan members to mimic the grabbing of an item, then eating it if it is food. Now, my clan members are not that smart. Okay, possible to recover more quickly. What's this? Okay, I'm gonna connect some of the identify identification ones. Form recognition, that's a pretty good one. But we are definitely reinforcing metabolism, like to the death. I always thought your ideal simian was blue. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, maybe maybe it's like a blue shadow of the hedgehog. You know, like a little compromise. I think I can see that. Um, hmm, what do we want to do here? Fight response. Okay, I want this. Because we're doing a lot of charging. Very nice. That was so many neurons. Okay, what's this? Group defense. Damn, really could have used that one. Okay, temporal distortion. Okay, I think it's time to make one more kiddo with the old mate. Good old gore. And then it's time to move generations. And then we'll take the gang to the new spot. And we'll be done for the night. <laughs> Creation myth. Jackson just taught me the kidney critters. The term kidney critters for the clade. Nephros nephrozoa. And that's perfect and I wanted to share. That's really funny that they're nephrozoans. Neph kidneys. That's amazing. Very good, very good uh, fun fact there, Dan. You love, you love it. Okay, so now we need to... Wait, hold on. Evolution. Time. Only three reinforcements? Okay, well, we're definitely doing those two. Body language. Item manipulation. Hmm. We need to start working on being bipedal, honestly. That's gonna be a big one for us. Okay. And I think I'm gonna go with... Mm, what is this, the group one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, change generation. Ugh, woof. Okay, we're good on no cutscenes. I hope you guys are okay with that. Okay, reinforced the lineages, neuronal developments, early phase two. Okay, genetic mutation, settlement, I don't care. Settlement is kind of worthless as a mutation, I just don't. Oh wait, we can't make any more babies. Bummer. Clan member dead? Oh my god. Oh wait, that's normal. Oh my god, we need to go pay respects. Oh my god, who do you think it was? G. Probably related to Ja. Oh wait, Ja had no kids. Noxen. Bugging out for the night. No, thank you. Thank you, Noxen, for being here. I really appreciate it. I should try building stick buildings. Press F. Yeah, true Canton. Okay. Well, we've been going for about two hours. I don't know if I want to go ahead and move everybody. I think I didn't actually... Yeah, I didn't lock on to it. I think we might make that the mission for next time. Moving everybody. And we're going to make it all the way to the savannah next time. We're beating the game. Perfect no deaths. Let me see here. Finish doing all this. Ah. Okay, needle grass psychads. Just, we're just getting free neuronal energy in this. Real quick. Do a necromancy, yeah, true. See you later, Dapper. We're about to shut off here, too. I didn't even know we had granite at the place, honestly. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here and hanging out with me on Wednesday come back here because there's going to be a bite-sized bust on gastroliths which is going to be very fun and then on friday i'm hoping to have the um <laughs> the kpg uh extinction video done but we will see fingers crossed um and then be back here 
next Monday for another really cool gaming extravaganza uh, where we are going to beat the game with no deaths. It's going to be great. Um, so, also, what's the usual thing? Okay, if you're new here, whatever, like, comment, subscribe. Um, and if you like these video game streams, let me know. Because some people are... What is it I said in the thing? It was such a good pun. It wasn't that good now that I'm remembering it. it was, I said video games are video lame. Some people think that. They really do. So you gotta fight it back against the boomers and the Gen Xers. Um, and the mean millennials, the meaner millennials. The Zoomers are fine. They, they, they kind of just want to die. They don't really care either way. Anyways, uh, thank you so much again. And please take care. Have a very gentle and modern week. And then I gotta end this stream. Good lord. That's a whole... Expedi okay, here I've got the pr I got the stop streaming button. Okay, <laughs> gamer out. Got to keep it cr keep it cringe.